here is your first nominee for Political Maniacs. He's a popular maniac. We have him on the show a lot. Louis Gomert. He's back at it again with some more Say offensive comments. Say it's not so. Oh, it's so. Jesus, take the wheel. All right. So this depressingly familiar spectacle of gun nuts spewing illogical nonsense was in evidence again this week after the mass shooting at the Washington Navy Yard this past Monday. The part of the script that never changes is that gun violence can only be solved with more guns. You got it. The tea partying <laughs> Texas rep Louis Gomert got a little creative with his metaphors when he said that blaming guns for gun violence was on par with blaming obesity on too many spoons. The difference, of course, in my opinion, is that the spoon industry is not calling for more spoons every time someone breaks the Guinness World Record for weight. Your thoughts, Richard? I like, oh, I mean, I like your play on that, Rich. I think that's a definitely a good play on, you know, Louis Gomert crazy. Um, understanding America. That Louis Gomert is pretty mad, um, for the record. Um, but beyond that point, you know, I got to tell you, I, I, I think the fact that every time we have this gun control, this is the argument you always hear from Wayne LaPierre. The only way to make our communities safer or to stop gun violence is having more guns. And that argument theoretically just doesn't make any sense. No. Like, guns are, and I, the other argument they make, well, it's not guns that kill people, it's people that kill people. Well, but That's people why didn't, people should have more guns. guns. If, 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 so if people didn't have guns, they wouldn't kill anybody. Right, America? Or is that just me? Maybe that's just me, Rich. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I think that, you know, and you've talked about this before, there's a big difference between, it's much more, imper- I mean, I'm not defending these people, but really, it's much more impersonal to just squeeze a trigger and one bullet could end someone's lives, you know, between like using your fists or something. I think there's a, a big threshold there. No, and I made this argument. I made this argument on on television where I say, you know, there's a distinction between punching somebody in the face because they shot you because, you know, they stepped on your shoelace or they pushed you and, you know, pulling out a gun and shooting somebody because they pushed you or stepped on your shoelace. And that's the problem with this whole gun debate. It's like, yeah, we need more guns to make our communities safer, but at the same time, you really don't come back from being, I mean, rarely ever do you come back from being shot by, like, a gun. 50 cent did. He's lucky. He's lucky. I mean, and I think that, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, for those most folks listening on the radio, um, you pretty agree. You agree with me. I'm pretty sure once this 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 segment hits YouTube, the comments will go out the roof of people who, you know, talk about uh, all the gun, the pro gun people who are just going to be going bonkers. Yeah, and I mean the the best part about this whole Navy Yard shooting was Wayne Lapierre was act- actually came out and said that the Navy Yard shooting happened because of gun control. No, well, they like to make this argument where they say, oh, this happened in, a, in an area where it's a gun-free zone, in a place where there's gun-free zones, there's more guns. Well, you got to ask yourself the question. If D.C. was a gun-free zone and both bordering states, and, well, hell, they say two states out, three states that were also gun-free zones, they wouldn't be able to get a gun. The gun that this individual used, don't get me wrong, this guy's a crazy, deranged maniac, but the gun he used was a gun that was purchased in the state of Virginia, which has lax gun laws. Legally legally right even though he had a mental condition which you know you got to fix that too um you know so that argument's a farce yeah absolutely totally crazy louis gomer gomert gomert he's no don't give him back the proper, at it don't, again don't make him proper by calling him gomer <laughs> <laughs>